So today we begin our journey of following one of my favorite saints, one of Deacon Jared Cohn's favorite saints, and one of the, are the saint that Pope Pius XI said is the greatest saint of modern times. That's Saint Therese of Lisieux. So earlier today we got a chance to go to the house that she was born in, in Alençon. And unfortunately, we're kind of striking out today on places to film this video. I would have liked to film it outside of that house, but it's kind of right on a busy street in Alençon. So we decided, hey, let's come. We got to the Sioux, where she's known. She entered the Carmelite Order, but she moved here when she was four and a half. And we figured we'll go to their new house, Le Buissonnettes, translated the bushes. Um, but of course, as you can tell by the door behind me, it's already closed today closed at 6.30 or 6, something like that. Anyways, but she's a great saint, and kind of the whole family is a family of saints, because both of her parents, Louis and Zelie Martin, have been canonized saints. They were the first married couple ever canonized together. Just a great example of what it means to be a Christian husband and father, and what it means to be a Christian wife and mother. A lot of Zelie wrote a lot of letters, and a lot of her letters have been preserved to this day. You can find a book, actually, of them translated in English. And it's great just to read how much she loved her husband. Louis was a watchmaker, and so every now and then he would have to travel to sell watches or to learn new kind of tricks of the trade, and how she would write to him and just how much she missed him. And he would write back saying, don't worry, I'll be home soon, I miss you too, give the girls a kiss for me. So together with this great love that they shared, they had nine children. Unfortunately, four of them died rather young, one of them at five and three of them before their first birthday. So they had five girls that lived, and all five of these became religious sisters, which they were probably very proud of, or at least Louis was. Because Zelie, when Therese, the youngest, who is so famous, St. Therese of Lisieux, was four and a half years old, Zelie died with breast cancer. And so that's what prompted the family to move here to the Sioux to, to be near other relatives to help raise the girls. So they come here and the father and Louis is great to raise the kids, teach them their faith. And ultimately, he and Zeli both said, our ultimate goal was to raise the kids for heaven. If that's not one of the most beautiful things about parenting, to raise children for heaven, to re realize that it doesn't matter if they're rich, if they're famous, if they have a good job or a comfortable job, then none of this matters for us or for our children unless we make it to heaven. That's the only thing that matters. And St. Therese is such a beautiful example of that and hopefully we'll have a chance to talk more about her and what she taught uh, later. Maybe tomorrow we've kind of got mass in the Carmelite monastery where she, where she lived a few of her years. So take care. God bless. May God bless you, you and all of your family. St. Therese and her parents, St. Louis and St. Zelie, are great examples of family life. May their generosity, their faith, and their love be with you and your family this evening.